The next time your doctor tells you condescendingly, no dear, men can't get bacterial vaginosis, then you ask them these questions for me. You say, Doc, have they even checked men for Gardnerella or any of the other BV strains? And if men can carry chlamydia bacteria, then why not Gardnerella? What makes BV bacterial strains so special that men are immune to it because they have a penis? And if it's not sexually transmitted, then how did it end up in my vagina in the first place then, huh? Hmm? Oh, it's okay, I'll wait. What? Oh, you don't know. Right, but you know who does know though? The ones with the money, the fertility industry. They're doing the studies to disprove what the medical community has been taught and continue to teach because they have been finding that BV bacterial strains in a man's semen affect his fertility. So you show your doctor these three studies that are posted in the first comments of this video. They are from PubMed. They are respectable. And they do show that men can carry Gardnerella and all the other BV strains. And then you ask for your man to be checked. Boom. I gotcha. I love you all.